It's common for college students to form bonds that continue outside the classroom. We all know that. But at one Texas university, two people share a connection far beyond campus, and they've got a very inspiring message. You're never too young or too old to pursue your dreams. Janet Shamley joins us with their story. Janet, they've got a very special bond. Indeed, Gail. Their names are Kathy and Emma. They are students at the University of North Texas. Both hope to enter the medical field someday. But the link between these two goes much deeper. They share the same DNA. Kathy is Emma's mom. When Emma Earhart walks to class at the University of North Texas, she's the first to admit this isn't the usual college experience. I mean, I really can't remember a defining moment, but all I, uh, all I was thinking was like, okay, well, you can, you can come to college with me, but you're not going to take classes with me. <laughs> Kathy Earhart is not only Emma's mom, she's her classmate. Severe stomach pain, missed work. Together they tackle the same tough subjects and a shared dream. Both want to become doctors. Kathy enrolled after 14 years as a stay-at-home mom. You don't have to do this at 18. You can do this at 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever age you want. It's when you're ready and when you're ready to give what it takes. But that's not the only extraordinary aspect of this family affair. Emma is a prodigy, a junior in college majoring in biology, with a high school diploma and associate's degree to her name at just 16 years old. I'm supposed to graduate from here at 17 years old with my bachelor's um, in biology and get my MD at 22. I started school at, at five, as every kid does. <laughs> or she was 14 and she was stressing over not knowing what she wanted to be. <laughs> and I'm like, you're 14, you've got time to decide that. Kathy says her daughter's drive gave her the courage to finally go for a goal of her own. It's going to take a lot and it is a huge risk, you know. Who's to say that I for sure get to go to medical school or that something doesn't happen? What started as one class together has turned into identical schedules and for good measure, some healthy competition. It'll always be like, oh, I made a higher test grade than you or, you know, I did better on this and we're pretty even. The challenge extends beyond Emma and her mom. While they're in school full time, Emma's dad handles home duties with Emma's two other siblings. It takes a little bit of, of sacrifice from everybody. Everybody has to have the understanding that uh, the dues have to be paid for these goals to be met. And everybody's okay with that. Joe Earhart is wowed by the dedication of the women in his life. Kathy's all or nothing, so she's already thrown her chips in on it, so she's in it. Uh, for the duration and Emma is she's young and you can already tell that she's passionate about what she does so I really don't have any worries about about them achieving their goals for all the togetherness and shared dreams Emma hasn't forgotten she is her mother's daughter she's my friend in school you know at home yes she's my mom she'll tell me go unload the dishwasher <laughs> but um she's not overprotective of me you know we're both following our own paths, you know, but we're doing it together. And I think it's really, it's really special, you know. Special indeed. And how are these two doing in school? Well, it's something of a competition. <laughs> Emma has a 3.7 grade average. Her mom has a 3.79. Wow. Go mom. That's good. Oh, wow. More yeah. important than that, they're on this journey together. They're both chasing a dream. This Beautiful is a great family, family but I'll tell you, this could never happen in my house. Beautiful family. Dad, yeah. too. I love dad. dad. I'm glad you included too. dad as well. Janet, good to see you at the table. Thank, Thank you very much.